www.geotour.com and get all the details. We'll uncover important geopolitical locations to show you how significant the world today, past, present, and future. Get foot on the ancient streets of Jerusalem, go sail the Sea of Galilee, raise the Western Wall, and so much more. We'll have guides for our group, lavish food, and luxury. Trip will be like this one. Come with Dennis and me this October. Register today. Are you earning money on your checking account? Provident Credit Union believes you should be earning on all your accounts. Provident offers a dividend earning checking account called Super Reward Checking. With a Super Reward Checking account, you can earn 1.26% annual percentage yield on your account balance. That's 1.26% with no monthly or annual fees. Start earning money today. Visit ProvidenceCU.org. Federally insured by the SCUA. Rate effective on October 18th, 2022. May change at any time. Other terms and conditions apply. If you want to invest your money and grow your wealth, just listen to Bill Grant. Hi, I'm Bill Grant at PhilzGate.com. There's many reasons to listen to a radio show. But I think to listen to my show, you get the truth. You get clarity. And you get great information. No matter what level of investor you are, Bill's gang strategies for investing are designed to put you on the path to success. You know what? Most of all, it's fun. Bill'sGame.com. Clarity, good information, and fun. Want to be as healthy and happy as you can be in 2023? Tune in to the healthiest hour on radio. Fight with no man inviting you to join us this Saturday morning for a stellar lineup of guests and information to help you get into the best shape of your life while increasing your energy and losing a few pounds in the process. Thank you, New Year's resolution sticks by sticking with us all year long to keep your mind and body healthy and strong. It's David Snow on Dr. Elf Radio this Saturday morning at 9 here on 860 AM. The answer. Are you tired of residential tenancy laws in California and wish there was a better way to invest in real estate? Hi, I'm Matt Hagar, president of Intero Commercial East Bay. We specialize in helping residents transition their portfolios into commercial assets, leased to tenants such as Walgreens, Starbucks, and the U.S. government. These properties offer around three times the cash flow of a single family investment, and all expenses are paid by the tenant. If you'd like to know more, visit Hagar.group. That's H-A-G-A-R.group. What are we being told about the COVID-19 scenario, about covert climate engineering operations that are wreaking havoc with weather all over the world, about the totality of unfolding and accelerating global environmental collapse? If you're willing to face and investigate shocking, verifiable realities that mainstream media sources and their distract and divide talking heads will never tell you, tune into the commercial-free, non-political, global alert news hour, Sunday, 4 p.m. on AM 860, The Answer. This is Dane Wiginton from GeoDreamWatch.org. Welcome back, Joe Allen is here. But, but Joe, I mean, if there's not a political solution and it's not realistic to ban it, and we can only avoid it so much, I mean, isn't it logical to have some sort of a check and balance? I, I agree, it's like the rings and Lord of the Rings, but our founding fathers demonstrated that there is a way to develop a structure, a system. I mean, you could almost take constitutional principles, checks and balances, separation of powers, and put that into an AI-type format where we reluctantly say, okay, we don't love the fact we have to do this, but we got to be able to compete in the AI space, or else the bad guys, the Wokies, are going to use it for total evil, right? Because there is a lot of good to be done. I'll give you a great example, right? I mean... What if they use AI as a social credit score system and say that, hey, you've been too outspoken against the regime, we're not going to administer you medicine. I know that might sound insane to people, but that's how sinister these people are. Is this outlandish, realistic? What are your thoughts? Uh, at this point, uh, Charlie, I don't think any sort of uh, doomsayer scenario is totally off the table, you know, within degrees. I think that as far as people on our side are concerned, however one conceives of it, let's just say the populist right, working Americans, legacy Americans, um, I think that one of the most important things that young people, one of the most important things young people can be doing right now is learning about these technologies and learning how to use them, whether it's 
AI programming, we're just simply using an AI program for Bitcoin or other blockchain technologies because these are going to be the kids that we're relying on, or older people, but mainly it's going to be kids that are able to do it. And we're going to need that expertise going forward if only to defend our little enclave. Uh, as far as creating anything on the scale of uh, GPT, uh, I, I don't know what the initial investment was. I know Elon Musk initially, Elon Musk initially invested $100 billion, uh, along with other investors. I believe that was 2015. And then in 2019, Microsoft gave them a billion dollars to really advance their GPT technology, the generative pre-trained transformers, the language technology. And then uh, earlier this year, Microsoft, or late last year, Microsoft put in an additional $10 billion. And so the, the power, the real power of GPT isn't necessarily in the architecture or in the programming. The major advances come from scaling. There's making the artificial brain bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's very difficult for me to imagine how uh, right-wing populists or any of the, the major uh, financial backers would be able to come up with something that would compete with that. Now, smaller systems could definitely defend against it, but I, I think there's, to a certain extent, um, you, to, as far as just raw power is concerned, uh, there's a certain degree of tragedy in all this. It's, you know, there's, there's a certain degree of resignation that these major tech corporations have the resources and the pre-existing expertise and infrastructure to create systems that we will never be able to compete with in, in the coming decade at the very least. You have guys like Peter Thiel who, uh, you know, ostensibly on, are on our side, and Palantir is definitely a very powerful system in its domain. Uh, but uh, again, I, I think that what we're talking about in this AI arms race is something much more akin to, uh, you know, a spiritual descent into lower and lower realms than any kind of normal worldly uh, competition for power uh, previously in history. Other than that, Mr. Lincoln, how was the play? That's <laughs> Final thoughts, Joe, we got a minute remaining. Uh, I, I do think, despite all of my kind of doomerism, I don't think that people have to worry about uh, artificial intelligence turning us all into paper clips anytime soon. And if we do, it's already too late. So, you know, enjoy your day. Uh, as far as uh, what, how to think about this going forward, education, number one, educate yourself on it. And resistance, number two, remember what it's like to be human and maintain that humanity in the face of a dramatic shift in the culture going forward. Joe Allen, frankly, I think pray on that. There is a God and we are not him. Regardless of how try to trans transhumanist, how hard the transhumanist attempt to try. Thank you so much, Joe. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Charlie. Email us freedom at charliekirk.com and subscribe to our podcast by opening up your podcast application and typing in Charlie Kirk Show. There's uh, there's so much more we could have covered on the artificial intelligence topic, but I'm not sure what the solution is. Is it to develop our own AI super weapon? Is that even possible? I don't know. I, I don't. I, I'm just beginning to learn about this technology, but doing nothing is not an option. But think about it. Let's pray on it. If you have a guest or a thought, email me freedom at charliekirk.com. I am open to your ideas. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks so much, everybody. Email us freedom at charliekirk.com. favorite financial vehicle, the Laser Fund. Laser is an acronym that stands for Liquid Assets Safely Earning Returns. The Laser Fund eliminates the dangers of rising taxes, inflation, and market uncertainty. You know, losing money when the stock market goes down is unacceptable to me. Learn how I protect myself when that happens. I want you to have a free copy of my latest best-selling book, The Laser Fund, How to Diversify and Create the Foundation for a Tax-Free Retirement. Especially if you have money trapped in an IRA or 401k, learn what you can do better. Call now to claim your free copy. I'll send out a copy via priority mail. I'll cover the shipping. Simply call 925
story, and I'm debt free for keeps. One eight hundred nine nine zero sixty nine sixty six. Attacks in Ukraine continue amid Easter pleas for peace. Ukraine in a peaceful state.